Well, hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. I'm Mia. This is Crazy May Stash. How are you guys doing today? Oh, I'm tired. I had a doctor's appointment this morning. Uh, thanks for coming in. I am Mia. This is Crazy May Stash, and I inherited a hoard. Uh, well, technically mul multiple hoards. I And I go through it on Wednesday. I don't know what I have. So let's jump in and just see what I got because I have no clue. And let's see. Uh, what is this thing? Oh, not that. <laughs> All right. I'm still learning. Well, I hope everybody's doing well. It's an absolutely beautiful day here in the Boston area. Um, it's like 60 degrees. Everybody's out. Flowers are blooming. It's gorgeous. All right. I'm going to go down scope because I just grabbed this. I have, I have a couple of these. You never know. Uncle puts stuff in everything. So let's go down scope and look. All righty then. I have no idea. Oh, well, let me just peek to make sure. Okay. Oh, well, I've been in here, but I haven't shown you this. All right. This, I believe, went to like a Chatelaine. This is sterling silver. And it's for a thimble. I actually do have uh, a couple. Hi, Ty. How you doing, honey? Thanks for coming in. I actually do have sterling silver and um, gold, real gold thimbles. I don't know where they, I think they're actually in, not in storage, but they're at the bank in the um, in safe deposit box. But yeah, this is to hold a thimble. And I think it goes on a Chatelaine. I'm not quite sure. And if you don't know what a Chatelaine is, <laughs> um, let me show you. I let me see. Let me bring it up. Just and I'm going to share my screen. All right, a chatelaine is it would hang from the mistress of the house back in the day. It would hang from their belt, like the belt that I showed you last week. Um, there's like a, a little hook area. Oh, see how this woman is wearing it here. And oops. Rook Skill Castle. Oh, okay. Let me see if I can get that picture up again. All right. So see, she's got like a purse, a change purse. There's probably a mirror. That's a pencil. I have some of those. There's uh, some scissors. Um I don't know if that's a thimble, but anyway, yeah, it's really, really cool. And look at that one. Let me see. Oh, there's a thimble one right there. That's a thimble case right there. Mine's more ornate, 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 ornate than that. So yeah, these are the things that, 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 okay. There's another one right there. Let's see if there's one here. Yep. There's a, there's an actual thimble. And not with a thimble case. So these are Chatelines and these are, they're absolutely gorgeous. Uh, but so I think that that's what this goes to. Um, does it match my belt? Hi, happy old soul. Well, I could pull the belt out. I have the belt. So because I'm still, I am really trying to figure out, you know, its origins. I did take a bunch of pictures. Those there. It's, yeah, it is here. I'm like, where'd it go? I mean, it's all sterling, so I would guess it would it would match. Let me change my screen. How are we doing? Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, I guess it, it would or it could. Hold on, let me do the downscope. 
Bells go. Do, 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 do. So, I mean, this is just a lot shinier. And this is, a, I think, a higher grade of, of uh, silver because it's the old, old silver. So, so maybe, I mean, I know there's other, like there's pencils in and things like that. So maybe I should start putting them aside like, and um, putting together a Chatelaine because he probably has one. Hey, Jennifer, Miss Jennifer Hayes. She's my mod. I know you don't like to drop your own. Uh... No, there's no similar markings. This is more modern because it says, it says 925 on the bottom. So that would be a lot more modern than, um, than, than that, <laughs> that belt. So there's no similar markings at all. Yeah, 925 was, uh, I think that started in the 1935-ish around there. Um, but yeah, it would be a, a beautiful thing to be able to, you know, so maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll start putting things aside. You know what? Here's a box. I'll start putting things aside that will, or I can actually use one, this box. Let's see. But I wrote on here, thimble case, sterling, starting bid $100. Uh, so maybe I'm going to hold off on, on, uh, on selling that right now. I don't know. I mean, what do I need a chandelier for? But I think it's it's worth more money when you put all the stuff together, I, I would think, right? Hi, Suzanne. Getting your oil changed. Well, thanks for dropping in. Yeah, so um, I think that, let me drop Jennifer's information. Hold on one second. And if there's anybody else that has a channel, um, or anything like that. Yeah, let me. It's all right to drop your if if you can't, you can just say you know you have a channel, um, and we'll drop it in the in the chat. That way we can all take care of each other. <sighs> it's for Chatelaine, yes, for Chatelaining. <laughs> Ty. First note of the day. Um, let's see. Fan the fancier the Chatelaine, the higher your status in society. That's right. That's why I think the belt, the belt is is um, has that hook there, definitely. So maybe I don't know. Well, hey Becky. So maybe we'll stop putting some stuff aside to see if we can build a Chatelaine because I'm sure Uncle probably has one somewhere. So yeah, this is really pretty. So we'll do that. All right, let's see what else is in this box. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna empty it out. Whoop! Something just rolled off. Oh, I see. Oh, I found some of these before. This just rolled off. This is definitely for hair, and it's got a piece of turquoise right there. And Definitely hand done. It is not marked. I would say somebody did this for themselves. Yeah. Like something like, yeah, if I wrap the hair up. <laughs> Mama's got a pony today. So yeah, you'd probably do something like this. I don't know. I know I have uh I have other ones like this. So I've been trying to put those together. Um, hey, Becky, are you in the Dallas area by any chance? Because um, I might be going to, well, I am going to. Uh, I'm going to be going, I'm going to be down there. Let's see. Let me go back to down scope. I'm going to be down in the Dallas area. Um, the first week in September. So I thought we'd hook up and hang out. Um, and maybe, I mean, I don't, I don't know if, um, 
Miss Thelma would be around, but it would be nice because I don't get down that way. I've never been to Texas, actually. Um, I've been to my dad's from Nolan, so that is definitely somewhere that I I would uh, frequent growing up. Conrad, Conrad Sterling. Hopefully there's another piece. That's pretty. Those are probably, that looks like, Amethyst and maybe Onyx. Those would be pretty, pretty earrings. Um, I'm from the Worth, Dallas, but uh, not now. I'm Huntsville. Oh, okay. Thelma is spring. That doesn't make sense. Uh, so I'm going to be in Irving. Yeah, Irving. I guess that's just outside of Dallas, right? That's where I'm going to be the first week in September. But I have it. I thought maybe I could hook up with you guys and, you know, do lunch or spend a day or something. I don't know. Let me know. What dates? Uh, September 1st to September 6th. Yeah. Let's go. We are down. Let's go. Okay. So I, I, that's really pretty. I hope we have the other one. Let's see what else is loose here. All this fun stuff. Let's see. Yes. Here's the other one. All we need is a, a hook. Aren't those pretty? I love these. And they say Conrad and then the word Sterling. I should probably get my uh, city mount to see if they register at all on there. <laughs> Just hit my cup of tea. I need tea. Uh, okay. I can mark my calendar. I can get with Thelma and maybe we could work something out. That would be great. I just booked, I just booked it. Um, they're having, it's called vid summit and, um, people that have people that have YouTube channels go and they learn about, um, how to better your channel and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of like a work thing. <laughs> so I'm excited. I've never done anything like this, so I'm really excited about it. What does this say? It says Colson, 1977. Oh, that's one of those um, things that they, they sweep in front of it. Is your son in Irving? No, he's in Maryland. No, he's in Maryland. Yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to hang out with you and Th Miss Thelma. Um, yeah, the it's a it's like a conference. Yeah, so oh, it's a conference for um, for YouTubers to uh, get together and share their knowledge about how to grow your channels and how to and things like that you know so this is really cool 1977 i know a lot of people uh, um wouldn't this be and yeah, this is sterling um wouldn't this be like from the olympics or something it's got a name on the back as well yeah yeah um yeah maybe i don't know if um, I mean, Miss, Miss Thelma might even be going herself to, to that. I know she watches some of those, um, some of the Nick Nimmons, which he helps YouTubers try to grow their channel. So, all right. So yeah, this is really cool. This is definitely something I think I would, I should probably list. But see, I don't know if. Maybe this needs a little WD-40. Oh, no, it's it's closing. <laughs> needs a little WD-40. 
Yeah, but what are these things called when they, you know, you they scoot them on the ice and then the person in front, like, like it looks like they're mopping. They're cleaning in front of the, what, are the, what is this thing called? I don't know. How about I Google it? It'll tell me. It's not one of those. Uh, they, they do it in the Olympics. I know that. The Winter Olympics. You're going to Google it? Yeah, it would be really nice to be able to um to meet up with with some like this with some of the regulars in that are in the chat and uh, and stuff like that. I, I'm really excited. Olympics. What is that thing called? I don't know. I I know uh, the Simpsons did a whole thing about um, like Bart throwing that on the ice, and then Marge was like cleaning in front of it. <laughs> so I don't, or not cleaning, but they um, they do something to the ice to make it move the way they want it to move. I don't know. I don't know what the heck that's called. Anyway, moving on. Oh, here's another one. Pears. Oh, and that's the same thing. It's got those little things you throw on the ice. That's from 1977. Well, maybe I can put them as a lot. This is cute. Sterling, Mexico. It just says Mex. I like that clasp. And... These look like they're sugared. I think it smooths it for ice hockey. Um, no, this is like a its own its own uh, sport. It's like this heavy thing with a handle, and and they and they throw it. I forget. See, there, there they are there, too. And they throw it, and the person in front of... Curling! Thank you, Gypsy JJ! Curling! I knew it was a weird name, and I couldn't... Curling! Thank you! That was driving me nuts! <laughs> yeah, it's uh, curling. Uh-oh. I think it did something. All right, there we go. Let's lighten this up a little bit. Curling. So that one's 1970, that's 77. And they're both sterling. So I think that would, I think some people collect those. They trade them, they collect them. I think Uncle probably just got them because they were sterling. <laughs> All right, let's put those aside. Let's get back to this. I want to. Let's test this now that the, oh, these have a reading. This one doesn't, the red does. It's going, this one's going up to the garnet area. Maybe, um, maybe I should clean it up a little bit. Definitely like Christmas colors, but it's really small. This is a six and a half. But uh, I'm, you know, that's really old. I don't, I'm not familiar with that type of clasp. Are you guys? That was driving me nuts, Gypsy JJ. You were thinking of Zamponi. Yes, 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 yes. No, I, I get it. That makes sense. Uh, uh, 
let's see what comes up. Um, silver, sterling, Mexico. Let's see what comes up. Um, I don't see. Jade, that says Jade. I don't know. Maybe, I mean, these beads, they're definitely beads. They're not plastic. They've been, looks like they've been through the ringer. They have a lot of scratches on them. Maybe they need, just need to be cleaned. I don't know. So we'll do Sterling, Mexico, and I need more information. Uh, okay, here we go. Get up my baggies. All right. You're welcome. Tell me more about this meeting place. Is it in Texas? I'm going to be in the Dallas, Texas, Irving area um, for a conference in September. So maybe we can all like hook up and hang out if, uh, you know, you guys that are in Texas area. Yeah, September, the first week in September. I'm really excited about it. All right. I know I've shown this before. This thing, I'm going to make it a little bit darker. There we go. So we couldn't figure this out the last time. I believe this is most definitely ivory, this piece here. Uh, because you can see the Schroeder marks or Schrader, whatever. And, but this is all like that. He looks like a Buddha. He's got very long ears. Oh, there's an M in the back. M for Mia. That's pretty cool. I wonder if Uncle made this. It looks like a bunch of pieces soldered together. Definitely looks like an artisan piece. I didn't know. I don't remember seeing that before. Um, ivory, sterling, artisan. I, you know, in the beginning, I didn't know about anything i didn't know anything about jewelry yeah uncle could have made this an m that is really pretty cool all right let's put that hi rebecca Oh, I'm not selling this. I'm just showing. I'm going through the stash. I'm not having a sale right now, honey. And um, a lot of this stuff, uh, this particular stuff, I have receipts that they were in storage since June of 1971. So if you can make, if you can show that you've had the things um, before it became, you know, uh, before the law changed, it's like grandfathered in that you're able to sell certain, you can't, some people can sell depending on the situation, but just like ivory, people can't just go out and sell ivory, no. But if it's very old ivory and you have receipts and stuff like that, you can. Um, it's not done a lot, um, but yeah. Um, but if Uncle made this, I probably won't sell it anyway. You know? Probably not. All right. Ooh, these are like a moss agate. Aren't these pretty? 
I have two different backs, but I mean, that's not a problem. These are nice. I know I sold some like a week or two ago with, uh, they were lace agate, blue lace agate. They were really pretty. Yeah, I can definitely have these for sale on um, on Monday. So with moss agate. Awesome. All right, moss agate. Okay, let's see what else we've got in here. Oh, well, that's beautiful. It is definitely cloisonne because it's got all these channels. Let me see if this is one, two, three, clear up. It is not. Is that doing it now? No. There we go. Leaves look like bushes with berries. That could be the sky. I don't know. Or ocean. I don't know. Definitely something's broken off up here. I don't know what that is. That aside. Oh, this is definitely an old, older chain. Very small. There's the 925 there, and it's a rope chain. Oh, it's a seven and a half. That's not too small. I just, I just don't want what happened to Johnny's to happen to me. Oh yeah, no, I don't, I don't sell ivory here. No, I don't. I've never have. I, I never will. Usually when I find it, I put it in with my, uh, I have uh, a box that I keep it all together. You know, I, uh, I just don't, I don't condone it, but these things were, were, were done well before I was born. So uh, yeah. And this one I'll probably, I'll probably just put in, I, I will put in my, my personal, um, thing. I don't usually sell. I don't usually, I don't ever sell ivory. I never have that. I, that I know of. So, all right, this is a seven and a half, seven and a half rope chain, rope bracelet. I can have that available for Monday as well. Starting bid. Stop it at like 40 bucks. I think that's a good price. Uh, did your uncle have a maker's mark? Not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge. Um, he did not have a maker's mark. I, I'm just eyeballing on, and then the way he packaged things or the way that they're made, um, if he made it or not. Yeah, I, I haven't yet found one, but I'll have to, I'll keep looking. It would be nice if he did. And happy old soul, thank you for for uh, being concerned about, um, you know, that kind of thing. And I got an email from Johnny. He's got his first channel back, so the one that they took away in 2022. So I'm really excited. I don't know how he's gonna how he's gonna. Um, move forward with it, but I'm really excited for him. Uh, did you get your crescent moon necklace, dear? I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't send anything out yet because I'm, I have everything here from the last week and this week, and I'm going to combine. So the shipping is, is, uh, combined from last week and this week, and I haven't finished but uh, if I don't finish today, it'll be all, everything will be invoiced and out by tomorrow. And if somebody's won anything last week or this week, it'll go out tomorrow, today or tomorrow. Well, probably tomorrow. 
Uh, hi, Susie. Hi, Rudy. His style was his trademark. Ty, thank you. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Um, this looks like a spur, like a thing that goes in the back of a, a boot, you know, uh, like the heel of a boot. That's what it looks like to me anyway. It feels like sterling. <gasps> Ooh, what's this? This looks like it's Tiffany, but I doubt it. I mean, I have found some good stuff. But th doesn't that remind you of Tiffany? Usually it would have it on there. I don't see it. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty uh, bracelet, though. I bet you if I Google it, Tiffany's will come up. Let's see. Let's see what size it is first. And that's a seven and a quarter. Uh, size seven, oh, seven and a quarter. And <laughs> I'm going to sing, I'm in a sing songy mood. You want me to say the word charm? <laughs> okay, Mia, I haven't got the invoice. Yeah, I hadn't got the invoice either. Whatever you're doing, uh, whatever you're doing, it pace is okay. Is okay. It's okie dokie with me. Thank you. You live in Irving? I did not see that. Oh, you're in Irving. Yeah, I'm going to be, um, there's, they're having a, uh, the thing called vid summit in September at the, uh, whatever it's called. Um, like, a uh, some center, you know, like, a like a trade center or, um, uh, place where they have, yeah, things like that. So they, it's going to be fun. That's, that's amazing. Maybe, yeah, I would love to meet up with people. That would be great. Um, let's see. I know all kinds of stuff is coming up on my phone. All right. Let me Google it that. And yep. First thing that came up. Oh. Looks like that froze. Uh oh. Yeah, that froze. My down camera froze. That's weird. Let me make sure that's all okay. Plugged in. Let me try this again. All right, there we go. Yeah, the first thing. That came up is Tiffany's. So it looks just like the Tiffany one, but it does not have. Oh, well. So something right there. Let's go. Let's look a little closer. Let's move this box out of the way. Oh, it says China. Oh, well. It's definitely, definitely looks like one. Very pretty. Very pretty. Yeah, Becky's close. Miss Thelma's close. Um, that's, I think down south, you guys go back to school a lot earlier than we do. 
up north here, we, we go back to school the first after Labor Day, which is um, the week I'm going down. So, so yeah, this is Sterling. Um, I think it's Sterling. Let me see. Where's my, where's my magnet? Oh, there it is. Too much stuff here. Oh, see? That is not sterling, but it, yeah, it's supposed to look like it's a replica. Um, so I'll sell this on Monday. Um, silver tone. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. If somebody were to look at it quickly, they would never know it wasn't that it wasn't Tiffany's. It looks, it's that, it looks that good. Hi Beth, how are you doing? Okay, that was really cute. All right, let's see what else we got in here. What are all these little bits? Oh, this is pretty. A uh, little religious saying, um, definitely older. Lighten that up. Nope. Definitely older. And look at on the back is even pretty too. I would say that's definitely sterling. All right. This is... That little thing, the little spring ring needs to be clipped a little closer. But this is um, filigree. Let's see any signs on it. Let's see if this one's magnetic. No, it does look like sterling. So I'm getting ready for my new grandbaby. He will be here in June. Oh, Beth, that's amazing. <gasps> Beth, look at that. How cute is that? <laughs> I don't know if this one is, this one's not, um, this one's not sterling. Beth, you need this in your life. I'm going to send that to you. <laughs> I'm sending that to you, like it or not, Beth. Isn't that cute? Congratulations, sweetie. Yeah, I'm going to send that to you. You know, it's been, I found this and I had it sitting aside here and I didn't know why. Now I know why. <laughs> See, everything happens for a reason. Um, okay. Yay. All right. This is got 925 on it. It's just a hook. I have no idea. I think it has to maybe be the end of, you know, a chain. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm going to put it in with my scrap stuff to take to my guy. Okay, what is this? This is the world, and it's a bead. Oh, it's a screw. There's a, um, you can see the thread of a screw in there. So it can screw onto something. Oh, no. Not magnetic. That's interesting. Um, so all these little things. This is so cool. A couple little dents there. 
Anybody home? Knock, knock. Oh, nobody's home. Ooh, let's look at the hallmarks. And look how long this chain is. I'll check that out too. Let's go to the microscope. Yeah, I don't I don't think that the chain is sterling. But yeah, see there's a couple little dents in there, but this is really in great shape. What does it say here? Oh, it's got some numbers made in made in Italy. 800, I see that. Okay, ready. I got to write it down. Uh made in Italy. 800 silver, 800 silver, see the 800 right there, um, right there it says 800, and then, oh, there's some number 03333, three, three, three. okay, um, 0333, three, three. is there four threes there? Yes. All right, let's look on the other side because I saw some other ones. And again, it says 033333. And that's all it says on there. This is a really nice locket. Oh, I mean, it is good size, you know. Um, I don't think this is... Oh, it's not magnetic. I'll have to test the chain because, I mean, like, it looks like they, it does look odd here. It looks like it was changed, right? Because these aren't the right sizes. So it might have been changed out. Yeah, it's not even the same color as the chain. So I'm thinking well, the chain could be sterling. And they just the findings is wrong. Let's oh, let's go down. Let's go. All right. Let me look in the chat. Oh, you're welcome, Beth. Yeah, you're a sweet doll. I'm a darling. <laughs> you're so funny. My son used to call my mother Nana Darling because my mother used to say, "Well, a hello, darling," to my son when he was a baby. So he. He would call a Nana Dolan and it just stuck. So everybody called her Nana Dolan. <laughs> Nana Dolan. Isn't that funny? It's funny you said that. Uh, I do like it. it. Would look great on my charm bracelet. Oh, good, Beth. That's so nice. It is definitely really. It's it's cool. Um, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, hit like. Hit the like, showing support. Thanks, Wendy. Thank you so much. Uh, I thought the King of Persia was going to be hiding in there. Oh, wasn't that cool? I could pull him out again. I, I'm still, you know, it's so hard. I had a doctor's appointment this morning about my, uh, my neck. And uh, it's healing amazing. So I'm really happy about that. But. I had an appointment yesterday as well. I mean, it's just, um, so I haven't had a chance to really uh, deep dive into stuff. Let's see. Okay. I'm here all the way now. I was modding and watching you. Oh, honey, I go make your money. If you, you need to be modding somewhere, you don't have to hang out here. <laughs> oh, but thank you for coming, Jennifer. Yeah, it's healing really good. Um, and he gave me the information from for a a um, a neck and a shoulder doctor. And so, uh, yeah, yeah, I, my my shoulders. It's on the list. It's on the list of things to do, <laughs> things to fix. Okay, so it, we've got. 
We've got that it's made in Italy. It's 800 silver and the 03333 is in there. So we have to check, check, check chain metal. Replace, I'm going to put a question mark, replaced bindings, bindings, meaning the clasp. Uh, not magnetic. All right. Got to write it down. LOL, it's only for milkshake tips. Oh, you want to be here? Oh, honey, okay. Thanks so much. Um, yeah, I'm really happy that it's, uh, I'm healing okay, you know. And I started physical therapy on my knees, and that guy is working me, but it's, it's uh, getting me stronger. I got I to gotta get stronger. So these are really, really pretty. I, I don't I think I showed these before. Here's I have some notes. <clears throat> so they do say sterling, but they have this on the back. It says G E M W. And I'll show you up close. Uh, so they actually hang like this. And I don't think, oh, these are going right up to jadeite, right up to jadeite. Yeah, those are going right up to jadeite. And see, I didn't write that here, That which means I didn't have my, is it one T or two Ts? I didn't have my presidium then. They do look like UFOs, right? <laughs> uh, do you do laundry out of house? No, we have we have laundry in house. It's a weird question. <laughs> yeah, these are definitely jadeite. A little tarnished. Let's let's look at the let's look at that symbol on the back because I'm not familiar with that. And I don't know if you guys are either. So it says the word sterling, so you know it's older. Oh, there it is. GMW. So it must have the other one must must be able to see what it is. But let's look at that stone. Wow, there's so many different levels. So it's not open in the back. It's got this, it's it's on the sterling. So that's what's reflecting back there. Uh, let's look at the other one. Okay, so you can see the E there. It is an E, right? So, and then it just says Sterling. So there's nothing else on there. No, that's just um, oxidation. Oh, Barbara, you're living in a sea of boxes, honey. I'm so sorry. How are you? Thanks for coming in. Taking a rest from boxes, Barbara. <laughs> Poor thing. Um, so these need a little more investigating. I do have some other books that I can look up. So green jade is very grounded in healing. I'm going to look out for some green jade. I have, I have a ton of jade. What kind of jade do you want? You want earrings? You want a ring? You want bracelets? You <laughs> Let me know. Send me an email. I have a ton of jade, jadeite. Yeah, 
uh, we've had our, you know, washer break and, um, Ooh, look at these. I had to go to the laundry, but yeah, before, before I got married, I always did the laundry out of the house. They match the flower brooch you were in the other day. I no, no. I love that flower brooch. She's like, oh, just being nosy. <laughs> All right. Let's see. She's got it all. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff. Maybe a ring. Okay. Marketplace Boutique. Hi. Yeah, these are very pretty. That is definitely jade. I mean, um, turquoise, duh. Turquoise and I think onyx. Very shiny. I don't think it's jet. Yeah. I don't see any marks on them. I would I would say that they're Native American. But I mean that blue. There it is. It's that robin egg blue, right? And then this is the other pair that's in there. Oh, aren't these pretty? These are screw backs and they're stars, but they're petite. How petite. Oh, these are pretty. I think I would wear these. I don't know. I'm so used to wearing the big stuff. <laughs> and they're screw backs. These are pretty. Let me hold these up. Yeah, the I th I'm thinking Zuni as well. Oh, look at the colors pop. Well, I'm holding stuff up. Well, these don't have the tops yet, but these are to die for. What are you this way or this way? Um, I think I'd wear them. I think I'd wear them facing in. I'm gonna put um, hooks on them. Yeah, those are so pretty. And I don't know, this is kind of just there. It definitely feels like sterling. So uh, I wanna test these beads they are cold and that is amethyst like i thought and i think that is onyx yeah so those are real excuse me um okay let me put these these are just beautiful i would say zuni as well And let me put these in there too, and I'll get some. I need a bigger boat. I need, I need, there is just not enough containers. What the heck is in this one? Uh, oh, look at all these containers. I need, I, I need another something to put these in for Monday. Holy moly. There's just too much stuff. God help me. Got one. 
All right. So these need some more looking up before I can, you know, bring them to sale on Monday. Same thing with those. Um, this and this. And so this I'm going to put aside because I know I have other. Oh, I wasn't showing. I thought you. So this I'm going to put aside because I know I have other ones like this. And um, these other things, like these earrings, I have to find hooks for them. And then those other pieces are just bits and pieces. Throw them all together. All right. So that was everything in this container. Oh, no, there's some other little things. Hold on. I lied. <laughs> Read Beth's comment above. The jade earrings are from Great Falls Metalwork, I believe. They are. Really? Okay, I'll pull them back out. You sent an email one day? Yes, you did. I didn't um I didn't send anything out yet. Uh it probably most likely go out tomorrow. Okay, Wendy? More crescent moons. Uh Let's see. Okay, so I read Beth's comment. Yeah, I'm going to pull them out right now. My green apple, your green, purple, and blue spheres. Um, My spheres? Which ones? Oh, over here? These are eggs. These are like eggs. And they sit on a little little uh, thing. This one's lapis. I think this is adventuring. And it's not going up to amethyst, but it's shiny like adventuring. Yeah, these are all going up to like the quartz area. So yeah, these are for sale. Should I bring them for sale on Monday? Yeah, they're they have a little I'll show you. Is that what you were talking about? These? Yeah, so this one is actually lapis. You can see the is um, veining in there and and such. <laughs> and your happy wavy glove hand. Oh, I know. Glove hand is over there. That's not that's not for sale though. I love that. That's that was made the year I was born. Thank you. If you can hit the thumbs up, if you're having a good time. Yes, please. Um, so yeah, these are like, uh, like teak wood or something. And then these sit in there. So I have the blue, I have purple and, and then there's a beautiful green, but I had these for sale around Easter time and nobody was interested. Um, you like my reticulated vase? Reticulated, <laughs> reticulated? <gasps> that one, this one, I don't know what that means. <laughs> what does that mean? What does reticulated mean? I don't know. I'm. What they say? Yeah.
yeah, I'll, these are for sale. I was going to sell them as a set. I'll pro, do you want me to offer them for Monday? I'll bring them in on Monday. Let me get a bigger bag. I need a bigger boat. <laughs> oh, you sent another one? Okay. Yeah, if you're interested in these, I'll definitely have them for Monday. I'll put them in a bag right now. Um, starting bid, probably like, I don't know, like 10 bucks for the set. With the pattern. Maybe she's talking about your uncle and his candle. Oh, underneath the candle right there? That that's uncle. That is actually uncle. All right. Or with the pattern in the porcelain. This one. This is for sale too. See, it's got cork. It's in great shape. It's a limited edition. Um, Cold port made in England. One of a limited edition. Is this the one you're talking about? <laughs> I got Jeannie's. <laughs> Does look like Jeannie's bottle, right? I mean, the shape anyway. It's really, really pretty. I don't know. Let me know. Is this what you were talking about? Ty, you're covering your eyes. Is this what you, is this the one you were talking about though? Oh, she said, that's the one. I see it better now. It isn't reticulated. Okay. Yeah. It's really, really pretty. And it's got a cork. doesn't smell or anything <laughs> what is with me and smells i don't know <laughs> i have a very sensitive nose i don't know should i mean okay let me ask you guys i have tons of hard goods as well i know people come to look for um jewelry but i think i think i'm going to start bringing in some of this stuff too so I'll have this for Monday as well. No, don't just, we're going through the stash. That's part of going through the stash. That's fine with me. What do I have here? Uh, starting bid 18 bucks. How's that? I'll leave that right there. And do uh, you want to see something else really pretty? Well, not that, but. Oh. Very dirty. Um, look at that candle holder. Isn't that pretty? So this is one you would have in your bedroom, you know, uh, back in the day. This thing I think is to hold, you know, the snuff, the snuff thing. I think it's to like set it on there so it doesn't like fall down or whatever. I really don't know. Um, and I don't know why there's an opening there, but it's made like that. But look at this, like a an elegant woman on there. It is very dainty and sweet, and it does have, it's like pinks and florals. Um, even down the base here, there's like a yellow. No, it's a candle holder. 
It's a candle holder. This is one you would have in your boudoir, you know, like, so back in the day when they didn't have electricity, this is one you would have in your bedroom. You know, you pick it up to walk around at night. It is beautiful. And um, do I have a, I don't know. I'll sell this on Monday too. It's, it's in perfect shape. It's just a little dirty. There's not even any uh, wax in there at all. You know, like sometimes there's wax resin, but there isn't. Oh, what does it say on the back? It says Victoria. Some, Austria. Austria. Let's go down scope and look at it. I'm like, let's go down scope. So it's got a number. It's got 37, but here it says Austria. If you want to look, isn't she pretty? Very pretty. So yeah, if you guys want it, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll offer that on Monday too. We can start starting bid on that. We can do 12 bucks. Very, very pretty. There is something for everyone, Barbara, right? Uh, this was in there. This must be, I think this is uncle's. It fell off here. Um, yep. Because it says the Children's Medical Center Royal Service. Oh. No, that's not his. I mean, it is. I think that's gold. Definitely looks like gold. And it's heavy. A little too heavy for... Uh... Yep. Uncle was a nurse. He was a registered nurse. Okay. I'm going to put that with the other ones. Yeah, I've got three storage units worth of stuff, guys, to, that i got to get rid of. All right. Let's – oh, this other box. This other box. This other bag. So these are all – now that's this is all the stuff that was in there. Oh, look at that. It's like a modernist. I come open? Oh, it opens right there. Look at that. I'm like, it's not gonna. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's too tight. That's really, really nice. Isn't that interesting? And it is marked just the word sterling. Very well constructed, very heavy. Let me see how much this weighs. Wow, this is 38.9 grams of sterling. And let's see what size it is. I mean, that is very modernist. It's very, very pretty. I like it. Let's see what size. It's a seven. Size seven. All right, we'll have this for Monday. Woohoo! Hard goods would be fun. Yeah, I don't know. Should I enter? Should I intertwine the hard goods with the jewelry, or should I do them completely separate? I think I should just put both, do both. Just give a variety. Look at this. This is a this is a Cuban link chain that I love. That look at how that that goes. I love that. So it looks like it's continuous and it's got the safety chain there. Look at, look at. <laughs> okay, Barbara. Yeah, I think, because I really need to start getting rid of the other stuff too. Let's see. Oh, this goes on nice. 
All right, I'm making the face. <laughs> Let's see. Can I get it on? I mean, it's it'll definitely fit. I just hard to get these. Oh, let's see, go that way. Oh, look at that. That's heavy. What a beautiful, all right. I'm going to wear it for a little while. You know, yesterday I was wearing, or Monday I was wearing, um, hold on one second. Monday I was wearing jade bracelets, jadeite bracelets, and I took them off within like the first 10 minutes. Yeah. Screenshot the face. <laughs> All right. I know what the face is. It's. <laughs> but it is pretty, huh? And look, it's got some room. Yeah, this is definitely nice. I think this is a, a, a catch and release. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, okay. Here, I got another little thing. Ooh. Did we go through this? I think I went through it, but I don't know if I went through it with you guys. Oh, look at her. Look at Miss Kitty. That is amazing. Look at that one. Oh, there's a loose... Looks like an aquamarine. Um, that's like a body with no head and no legs. Here's another kitty. This one's unusual. This is solid. This isn't puffy, you know, like a... Interesting. S R. That's very specific. S R. So here's the same one like this, but smaller. And then there's a pair of sterling huggies. They have some, let's look at some of these a little closer. If you think about it, they all are catch and release. <laughs> all righty. Oh, take this one off of here. You got a point there though. All right. Okay, there's the eagle. Eagle number 38. Sterling. 925. Yeah, these are, these are Mexico. These are really cute huggies, though. Let's see what's on. There's nothing on the back of this one. This reminds me like if it's supposed to be like a, a famous painting or something. It's interesting. Very heavy. So there's a large and a small one of this. It's a neck and the upper body. What does that one say? 925X19. And it's a very simple C clasp. Just X. X19. Let me see if the other one says that. Oh. There's the 925. Um, uh, that's like an omega omega sign. 
and then B44, I don't know, Omega, and then 44. Let me look at the other one again. The other one didn't have an Omega. This had an X. But this is a simple C clasp as well, and it's pretty long. Huh, those are interesting. Let's see what's on the back of this young lady. Oh, there's 925. And again, it has a simple C clasp. Yeah, they could be handmade. I like this one. This kitty cat, look at all the oxidation on it. Um, here's the back. Hi. It just says the word sterling. But I don't see a designer on there. And then here's the other kitty. This is like a repose. It's like pushed out. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's Bo. B E A U, Bo Sterling. And let's look at this ring S R. That says sterling. This is very shiny. And then I found, and then there was this in there. Oop. That would not be good. Let me find my tweezers or my. Okay. This will hold it. I think that's aquamarine. Oh, let's see. I'm going to test it. Yes. Yes, it is. And there's just another piece of something here. Um, so that is an aquamarine. I have to find something to put that in. It's in here. Oh, there's all little bits in here. Probably, I'll toss it in there. Um, so I should have all of this stuff available for Monday. I want to Google these. These are really interesting. I've never seen anything like that. Have you? And there's not, excuse me, there's not one, there's two. Uh, let's see. Hi, Denise. Thanks for coming in. Uh, if you're about, if you think about it, they're all, okay, catch and release. Yep. I meant the ring said handmade on it. This one? Did it say handmade? I thought it said sterling. Um, okay, let's do, I want to Google eight these because these are kind of, those aren't normal. Very modernist. All right, not those. Let me do one at a time.
Uh, just in case it shows something. Cycladic woman figure. Okay, so these are these are women. Um, okay. Just in case. Very interesting. I don't know if it's a goddess pendant or, oh, uh, cycladic woman figurine. So there's a few of those, which is a bit different. It's similar, but not the same. Oh, well, no, that's, that looks like mine. And it also says cycladic. What is cycladic? Nice gift for Mother's Day. I'm going to look up cycladic. Are you, is that a familiar thing to you guys? Cycladic. Okay. Cycladic. I'm trying to look it up. Oh, I said it right. Cycladic. Uh, the period of a Bronze Age civilization that flourished in the Cycladics between 3000 and 1050 BC, the country's jewels, country's jewels root, roots reach back millennia to the Cycladic. Cycla the Cyclades, it's related to the Cyclades in Greece. So they use that word in archeology. span Uh, okay. So that was that. Let me, I want to look up some other brooches. Uh, Greek cycladic brooch. Okay. Very interesting. I, I learned a new word today. These are cycladic. <laughs> um, I'm just looking at some other cycladic figurines. And They range from sixty to ninety dollars. Very interesting. I learned something new. Hi, Warren, sweetie. How are you, honey? I wasn't sharing, but I will. Cycladic. Cycladic figurines. So this one's like mine. Uh, this one's on Etsy. It's a gift for an artist or I wonder if the back of it is Cycladic art. So this is not the same maker, but very interesting. See, these are cycladic figurines too. 
Very, very interesting. Johnny got his first channel back. That's right. I said that earlier. Hi, Laurie. How you doing? You're new? Hey, guys. Everybody, welcome, Laurie. Thanks so much for coming. We are, uh, we are, Laurie, on Wednesdays, we go through the stash, and we were looking up these pins, and we learned a new word, cycladic. And that, so we looked it up, and, and it showed us all these figurines. So that's what we're doing. And let's go down scope and show you. So these are cycladic. So I'll bring these for sale on Tuesday, on Monday. How did I say Tuesday? Um, yeah, I'll try to bring all of these for sale. This one's cute. Um, this one is different than all of, this isn't a, this, let's, I want to take a picture of that and see if that comes up at all. Cause that's really different. She almost reminds me of like a, a tree sprite or something like that. Pixie, Sprite. Huh. I don't see anything like her. I think it is artisan made, you know, I think this is definitely made by hand. This is very heavy and it's not signed and it's not marked, but and I'm gonna have to test the the metal on this. These almost look like hands. Right? I don't know. I don't know if I'll have this available for Monday, but I can definitely have all these brooches, this ring, and these cute little huggy earrings. I like the way that, that these, look at, I like how it just goes into that little hole there. Really cute. Put them all back in there. Yeah, those can be available. This one needs more, more looking into. It does look like a fairy. I think so. Put it on my thing over there so I can check the metal. All right, let's see. You know what? I'm going to grab this big thing. Let's see what's in here. Ow, I just hit my knee. All right, I need a sip of tea. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, Lori, thanks so much. How did you find us? Yeah, Wednesdays we do unboxings going through the stash. And then on uh, Mondays we sell it. Let's see. Oh, this is one of those with lots of compartments. And uh, I'll just start with one. I think I've, I've opened one compartment before. Yeah, because one of them's empty. Let's do... Pull out from I remember this when we went through. It's a it's a rooster or a hen. Oh, look at all these beautiful pieces. Do you guys remember this one? Little Buddha. Love these um, amethyst pieces. These are beautiful. Oh, what is that? This little birdie. This looks like a broken piece of of um, onyx. There's so there's jade there. This looks like some jadeite. Oh, a little. Another piece of jadeite. Another piece of jadeite. Aren't those pretty? 
kinds of little stuff. All right. The boot is Jade. Yeah, he is. But he doesn't have like anything, like there's a hole there that there probably was some sort of uh, thing to make him, you know, uh, hang from a chain, but there's nothing there now, see? You love rocks? Oh, honey, these are good rocks. These are gems. <laughs> You're not weird. This is a good place to be weird. I'm weird. I'm weird and I own it. Look at this. This is pretty. This one's broken up the top. Just needs a little thing. Let's see. Yeah, this is not going all the way up to Jadeite. So this is Jade. Rebecca, do you need a Buddha in your life? Oh, I'm glad you're hanging out, Wendy. You just looking around, Laurie? Yeah. Well, welcome. Because, yeah, Wednesdays we go through the stash. I don't even know what I have. I've inherited so much stuff uh, from my hoarding family members. You know what, Rebecca? Rebecca, I'm going to send this to you. Oh, who? Wait a minute. Who? Rebecca loves rocks, but I think JJ was looking for, wait a minute, who was asking for, yeah, JJ, I'm going to send you this. Rebecca, I'll send you a prize too. Uh, Gypsy JJ, Gypsy JJ gift. Okay. Because you, you needed a... Uh, you collected rocks. Do you want this one? It's it's broken up the top there. I don't know what that is. Oh, this actually looks like it's got opal in there. Wait, let's look at that closer. Let me find a... Uh... Gypsy, now you get your piece of jade. All right. Let's look at this one closer. Closer, closer still. Oh, isn't that pretty? <gasps> wow. Look at all the colors. That, that's amazing. I want to Google it. Let's see what happens. I've, I've, that's a really, really, really pretty one. Let me put on a light. Pink Argonite. Huh. I think this is what it is. Because it's got like the same, I mean, it doesn't have, I don't know. So Rebecca, I'm going to send you this. I know it. I know that doesn't have a, a top there. I think that could even be gold up the top. I don't know. You guys are so good to me. You're always here. You're always such um, loyal, loyal subscribers. Um, gift. Okay, Rebecca. That is a really, really cool one. 
If it turns out to be a million dollars, you have to share. <laughs> That's all I got to say. But I think it's a beautiful piece. All right. Let's see. You're welcome, ladies. You're awesome. It's got to be a super seven if I ever saw one. <laughs> I have no idea where it's from. All right. So let's see what else is in this um, this other thing here. I am, let's put these aside. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> I'm like, Ooh. all right. What's in here? What on earth? Wow. Okay, okay. That's a belt buckle. Goes like that, I think. But look at these. These are like all stations. Oh my God, that would be a fabulous belt. That is all turquoise. Those are turquoise, absolutely. A turquoise belt, are you kidding me? Look at all those pieces. Three, six, nine, nine, uh, nine of those. Let me get up a little higher here. Wow, that must look amazing when it's all put together. <gasps> Excuse me. So I think it would go like that. And then the rest of it would be like that. Cool. You're a purple girl. I'm a purple girl. I am definitely, I love my purple. It's, it's all Donny Osmond's fault. Okay, this is a receipt. It looks like 10 for... Can't tell. I think that's 96, 1996. And he bought 12 of something. It says uh, Onyx, something or other. Jade. Yeah, every time I find a receipt, I just put it aside because I don't know. I saw I do find receipts and I match them up with things, which is really cool. But uh What's this? Talk to me. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, you'll find there's a lot of purple girls here. I never saw anything like this before either. Do you want to look at it? Let's look at it a little bit closer. This looks like it was repaired. This one. Yeah, I don't know what this substance is underneath. I've seen it before. I don't know. It almost looks like scales, but I, that, those are most definitely, that's turquoise. Absolutely. And I'm sure that that is sterling. And I am not sure what that stuff is holding it together. That's funny to talk to my lawyer. Only uncle would have stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to give that away. 1983, it says right there. Ephemera Inc. 1983. 
got a number and stuff. Let's see if it comes up on Google. No. <laughs> I like that one. I'm a dork. <laughs> I want to wear that. I don't know. How about I just give this away right now? Keep the keep the talk to my lawyer with the receipts. <laughs> yeah? It's so funny. Let me give it away. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Let's do uh we'll do hashtag uncle. Because let me uh hold on, let me pull up the Let me get to the giveaway, StreamYard giveaway thing. Copy. <sighs> give it away, give it away, give it away now. All right. StreamYard live hashtag. Oop, I just hit something. Uh, hashtag uncle. All right, I'm going to share my screen. Get your hashtag in, get your hashtag in. If you want to win this, and I'll just send it to you. It's so. It's from 1983. It says, talk to my lawyer. And you know what? If you don't want it for yourself, you can give it to somebody else in the chat or in person. Hey, Lindsay, what's going on? Hi, Maggie. Hi, all you lurkers. Yep, it, it doesn't matter who you are. If you even stopped in here for five minutes, you just have to be here when uh, your name is called and you have to give me your information so I can send it to you. Here's a little pin. Get your hashtag in, get your hashtag in. There's five entries. You're going to have a high of 18 people watching. Yeah, it's fine. Lurking is fine. So, Laurie, you got to put a hashtag like that, like you did, but you have to write the word uncle. The name, yeah. Hashtag uncle. Uncle, uh, my uncle passed away and left me a whole bunch of jewelry. That's, well, the stuff we're going through right now is stuff that he left me. And we're trying to figure it out together. So, yeah, put a hashtag and then Uncle Laurie if you want to lurker Maggie. <laughs> All right. There you go. Uh, actually, there's no, yeah, make, make it so there's no space in between the hashtag and the uncle. I'll wait for you. Hi, Nancy. Thanks for coming in. Yep, there's no space between the hashtag and the uncle. I'll wait. We'll wait. Yeah, when we do these, that's the, the hashtag. There's no space, and then you write whatever I write. And if you can copy and paste, there you go. So now it says I have seven entries. Good luck, everybody. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, and round and round and round we go. Where it stops, nobody knows. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. If it if it comes up on me, we'll, we'll oh, Lindsay! Congratulations, Lindsay. <laughs> Miss Lucky. Lindsay, I have your information, so. You are all set. And this will go out tomorrow with uh, all the other. Yeah, I got to finish all, all the billing. I've had um, appointments, so it's just been crazy. Because I usually do all my. Congratulations, sweetie. Um, I usually do all my billing on Tuesdays. I try to have it done by end of day Thursday latest. But, yeah. I think this bag has had a. I'd have seen its better days. 
Let me get one. So yeah, these are really interesting. I wonder if uh, I still don't know what the heck that is on the back. Some sort of I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do with all those. All right, let's go. Let me change the view. And go down scope. You're kind of lucky. Yes, you are. <laughs> yeah, if and if ever, I know sometimes people like there's a lot more people here than that actually go in for these uh, for the giveaways. But if you know, just enter anyway, and then you can always give it to somebody else. You can gift it away. All right. So obviously these are something that has to be looked into more thoroughly. Yeah, they are definitely kind of weird. <gasps> Ooh, what's this? It's sharp. This reminds me of a like a Native American cutting tool. It's definitely, it's definitely sharp. Yeah, Uncle um, collected um, arrows and things like that, too. Ooh, what are these? I think these are ends. Are these ends? Oh, yeah. Oops. Yep, these are for the end of like a um on a necklace, an end on an on a necklace. Cool. So these are end pieces. All right. I'll have to put these with um with the repair stuff. All right, what's in here? Ooh, there's more. Flint. Flint can be sharp. I don't know. Just the way it's like broken up here, it just reminds me of a. Um, it reminds me of a. Like an arrow. Barrel class. Yes. <gasps> Look at these ones. It's a whole bunch of them. And these are barrel clasps too. <gasps> and these are all sterling. Yeah, these are for repairs. Look at, they're all different shapes. Nice. All right. And with the repairs. Oops. One just went flying. So he was making repairs too. I don't know. I mean, I'd like to be able to repair stuff, but at the same time, um, you know, I don't know when I'd be able to get to that. Let me find something to roll these out. And dust everywhere. Oh, there's all beads in here. Oh no, these aren't just beads. These are, that's, am that's amethyst. Absolutely. Yeah, they're cold. Yep. They're reading on the Presidium. <gasps> Look at the uh, Malachite. Aren't those pretty? All right. Looks like he was making an earring here. And then these pieces are look like gold and sterling. Yeah, he was definitely making stuff. Look at. All right. That's all going back in there. Oh, I don't want to play with it. Just put all these together. You have no idea how much, how much repair stuff I have. That side. All right. 
Uh, let's go into another pocket and see what else is in here. I don't. I hope this isn't all repair stuff. Otherwise, or wow, what the heck? All right, here's some boxes. Maybe this container that I'm opening is all repair stuff or um, like arts and crafty stuff. I don't know. What's in here? What the heck? These are bones. <laughs> what the heck was he going to make with bones? And these are turquoise. Tubular shaped turquoise. Uh, he was definitely going to make something cool. This is definitely jade. I saw that on Monday. Am I bringing those on Monday? Um, I have... A bunch of jewelers tools. I'm not ready to sell those because I am going to be, I do use them to fix stuff. Um, and I have a smelting stuff as well, but I'm not going to be, I can bring a couple. If you need a couple, I I'll, I'll sell you a few, but I'm not going to bring them all. Um, I just, cause I, I haven't, I haven't, um, ooh. I haven't um, figured out what, you know, what I'm going to be doing yet. These are beautiful. I don't see any holes in these yet. I don't think that this is turquoise. It's like green. It almost looks like uh, malachite with the layers, but I'm not quite sure what that is. All right, what's in this one? These are definitely jade. Yes. And there's a whole bunch of them. One, two, three, four. Five, six. And then this one has a... Okay. Um, this one's different. This one's, this one looks like onyx. That's a pretty cool. The sterling ends. Um, Okay, there was a few different sterling ends, so where did I just put those? Uh, the barrel class, these ones. You want a couple of these? What's the other ones? These ones I think he was going to use for the Native American ones. So I don't, I don't feel comfortable selling these right now. But I'll, I can, I'll sell you a few of these ones on Monday if you'd like. Yeah, these, these are like amazing. I don't know what stone that is. That's crazy. All right. Got bones. We've got. <laughs> it's just... Uncle's stuff is crazy. All right. Let's see. Are you interested in a couple of these? I'll pull a couple of these out. These are sterling too. Um, so there's ones with the, the hooks on the ends, and then there's ones without the hooks. I would think you would thread it and then knot it in the on the inside, I guess. So, 
Yes, Monday. I'd be interested in a few barrel clasps too. Okay. Um, let me take out a few. Um, oh, see, two, four, six. How about eight of them? Four each, and then ah, they're rolling away. How many would you guys need? Just let me let me know. Hi, Alicia. Thanks for coming in. I'm so glad you found us. I think malachite, and you wash your hands after working with malachite. Okay, I'll go wash my hands. About a half dozen or so. Jennifer's here. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. How about I do, uh, I'll do two, two loads of six. And that'll leave me with these. So I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13. 13 is my lucky number. All right, so I'll do I'll do these on Monday. I'll do two things of six. Is that good for you guys? Or I can do um, three things of four. I don't know. I'll figure it out. All right. All right, let's see what else is in these crazy. Okay, that was... We already looked at that. All right, I'm already kind of freaking out what's in here. These look like bear claws. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that's... That looks like an eagle claw. Or some, some type of bird claw <sighs> these look like teeth i'm just gonna shake my head because you know i can't i, I can't um these are teeth uncle what were you gonna make with this stuff that that is uh, a type of coral. Jennifer's here, but she's driving. Hey, Deborah, my sister from another mister. How are you doing, honey? Before you try to sell these, make sure that you can legally sell them. Oh, I'm not selling these. No, 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 no. I... Anything like this? No. This stuff, he, he was putting this together to make something. So I'm not, yeah, I'm not selling these. I'm just going through the stash today. This is beautiful. Look at the bands in that. That's a beautiful, like an orange banded agate. That, that really looks like uh, cornelian. That's pretty. Okay, so look at, I don't, okay, there's a barrel clasp. And look, he made this. Look at. Wow. With the sterling and the pieces of um, turquoise. Let's put it on the neck. Yeah, he bought this stuff so he can make stuff for himself. He wasn't, this is, he didn't buy this stuff to sell it.
look at he made. That is very interesting. And there's one of the barrel clasps. Let's see. Putting it on. I'm putting it on. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Well, I better not fall down. Get, get stabbed. Yeah, I think I might have to keep it. He's a shop. Am I supposed to wear it the other way? Like, are they supposed to be poking out instead of towards me? I'm going to impale myself. Yeah, he made stuff like this a lot. I'm putting it on with it going out. Naming them gems like a pro. Hey, I'm learning. We're all learning together, right? Yeah, I could, it looks like he polished the claws, too. Really, really pretty. Yes, I'm keeping this. Now it's not stabbing me. <laughs> so these pieces, let's go back down scope. These pieces are amazing. So I know that these are, I know that doesn't look like a tooth, but I know that these are teeth because there are some really, I have some really old jewelry that are, um, um, that are made out of these. And uh, that, that's how I, I know that they're teeth. And I believe these are teeth too. So I don't know what kind of teeth, but those are teeth. I'm not going. Ah, oh, crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh, always something, never, never a dull moment with uncle stuff. That's for sure. Yeah, these are, I mean, these are so sharp. And I'm sure, yeah, definitely was going to make something out of these. He was so creative. Oh, yeah, look at the beads. So it, it, it has like a double hole. So it, it would have, you know, go through that way. And this doesn't have a hole yet, but I'm sure, you know what? I'm going to put this piece in with the, with these. So cool. My goodness. All right. There's a lot of, a lot of stones in here. Oh my goodness. What the heck? Oh my goodness. All right, that's like a little piece of leather or suede. Look at this. This is a pendant. That is cool. This definitely looks handmade. You know, sure about wearing somebody's critters. Well, I don't have any teeth on, but these are claws. <laughs> Definitely be safer this way with them. <laughs> um, this definitely looks like sterling. I mean, I can always test it. Um, here is another piece of the same. This is the same as that other um, that other one that I found. It is so sharp. All right. Yes. Now these are all, this is, this is, um, turquoise, very light turquoise. So there's a cabochon there. And then these ones have a hole in it. Not all the way through. Um, this looks like a stabilized piece of turquoise. See, it has this backing on it. That's beautiful. 
Here's another one like that. And another one, that one. Says $75. Okay, so those are little pieces of turquoise all around it. Ooh, that's a moonstone. Isn't that pretty? Uh, just don't hug someone while you're wearing them. <laughs> yeah, right? Hey! Hi, Tanya. Thanks for coming in. Look what I found. Whoops! They're all falling out now. Oh, this bag's ripped. Look what I found. Ooh, that's lapis. This is lapis. This one's lapis too. Ah, that's like a conch shell or something. Uh, there's all different turquoise. These look like they're, these aren't, this isn't turquoise. This looks like it's dyed how light. These pieces here. These pieces are dyed how light. On this one. That is turquoise. That is a cool piece of turquoise. This is turquoise. So this one already has holes in it. Um, this might be turquoise glass. If you heard of turquoise glass, that's what that looks like. And there's another one looks like turquoise glass. Beautiful, beautiful pieces of turquoise. Some in here. Well, that one's set in gold. All different little pieces. Look at there's a carved piece in there. Now this one has 1.1 carats. 11.1 .1 carats. All right. These are all. Yeah, I'm gonna put these in a separate bag. Uh, Tanya, it's good that you came in because um, all the stuff we've been finding, it's all stuff like to make jewelry, all stuff to make jewelry. Uncle's, uncle's stash of beads and precious gems and yeah, really cool stuff. Ooh. That looks like, I'm going to grab that out of there. That looks like a piece of um, a peridot, a loose one. All right. It's carved pink um, quartz. Ooh, that's a Mother Mary in sterling. It's a bead. It says $20 for this piece of turquoise. God only knows when that was. So let's put it in the tester and see. Nope. Just a piece of glass. Beautiful, beautiful things.
Yeah, you came in right at the right time because, yeah, this is, I just hit uncle's area of, look at that moonstone. Um, look at the size of these stones, Tanya. Amazing. I like the color of this one. It's a few of those. This looks like sodalite. crazy I really do like this yeah I don't know what he was going to make but just really really cool stuff alright let's see let's put these ones away ooh oops rolling 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 Everybody confirms the fact that you, Tanya, are becoming the resident, our resident jewelry designer. Yes, you're doing an amazing job. Oh my goodness, look at these. He wrote down three dollars each. These are God only knows when he got these. So it looks like uh, malachite and, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at those. Probably Zuni. It could be Jet on the back. I don't know. I have no idea. Beautiful, beautiful work. Where did he get all this stuff? You know? Yeah, I don't know what's on the back of them. Is that something that they would do is put jet on the back? I don't know. I don't know. I think that's an epoxy, yeah, to stabilize it. That would make more sense. That would make a lot more sense. These pieces are absolutely fabulous. And I haven't even, guys, I haven't even shown you. Um, so uncle's... Uh, I don't know when I'll bring it, but I will. So hold on. Let me go up. So uncle's, um, with uncle stuff, I have in the bank, I have, you know, uh, the paper that you fold up and, um, you know, like diamonds come in and stuff like that. I literally have containers full of those, um, those paper things all folded up and it's all different types of stones like uh, and there there's tight somebody typed from a typewriter onto the outside um like uh i don't know amethyst cabochons and um whatever but there's so many loose gems that um, now that I've been doing this for a while, at least I know what some stuff is. And I, I know I can uh, tell the difference between um, dyed howlite and, and turquoise. And um, I mean, I didn't even, I couldn't even tell gold, real gold from fake gold or real silver from fake. I just couldn't. And turquoise is a soft stone the state and the stabilized with it. Yeah. Right, Rebecca? Yeah, I think so. When he, Uncle would see stones, I'm sure you feel like this too. Uh, like, look. So that's a button. So you would like slip that over your button. So then that would be your button. 
Um, Rebecca, I will do a gemstone sale. I just haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> you know, like I'm, I'm still uncovering and learning i i don't know what to sell things for like the the prices and all that um but it's my it's 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 on the list it's definitely something that i plan to do because i don't plan you know everything is going to be for sale everything i i can't um very little i'm keeping i'm keeping like 0.1% of the stuff. <laughs> Tanya's like, I'll buy it all for a dollar. A dollar three fifty. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a lot. Tanya, I'm sure you would have a ball. There's there are trunks. All right, I have I there are at least three trunks full of repair and costume and to make jewelry uh, with the findings gold silver the solder gold silver i have a box of gold um 24 karat gold leaf like a box it's like this it's huge it weighs a ton and each page is each slice it has like uh another paper be in between it i've never seen anything like it and it was like from the 1950s the box it said on the outside from the 50s i've never seen anything like that i you know so i'm still just trying to oh look at these oh my god look at these all right down scope Yeah, so I have at least three trunks full of stuff for just jewelry making. And, oh, I know what's in there. Look at that. All right, this is, I think that's the last thing in that container. Look at this. Now, Uncle could do this. I don't know if he made this one, but Uncle uh, learned how to do all this beading. He might have made this. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, he was studying with, um, he actually was inducted into a tribe in Massachusetts. The um, what is the name of the tribe? Anyway, um, the elders accepted him into the tribe. So he used to go to the powwows and he would sit and he would do all the beating and stuff like that and learn their techniques. Um, yeah, this is beautiful. That's beautiful. And let's look at these. These moccasins are amazing. And this is all suede. I don't think he made these. I think these are old. Um, oh, my goodness. Hello. Hello, gorgeous. Um, so this finding says Korea on it. It is a chain under there. Spring ring. Doesn't say anything. Oh, and they're graduating. Look at that. That's a long. That's uh, that's a fifteen inch drop. Oh, this one's this one's heavier than the first one. This one's really really heavy. So okay, and this finding wait on the little tiny thing right there. It says 925 on the part where you open. And that is also, is that? Yep, that's a metal. Um, it's a metal chain underneath. That is fabulous. So this one's much lighter. 
than this one. This one is very heavy. Yeah, see how it's a, yeah, that's so cool. Mia, would you consider more than one auction a week? Becky, if I had the time, yes, I would like to do that. Oh, yeah, um, Tanya, absolutely. But I, I have three trunks, like steam trunks full of, that I know of, because I, I still have to go through. So there's still a bunch of stuff in that one of the storage units is the one I brought over from another town before he died. It was put into storage June of 1971. I still haven't finished going through those trunks yet. And like we went through one, I, I did make a video of me going through one. It took a couple of videos to, to actually go through everything. They were full of, there was a fan collection, an antique fan collection, like, you know, one of these fans. And then there were um, costumes, antique costumes. There were um, wedding kimonos. Now, this stuff was packed June of 1971. So it took my breath away. The, the, the beading and the, the hand, the embroidery, it was just amazing. But let's look at these and say here right now. Um, So one of them, the one that says that the chain part says Korea, I mean, I, I'll test it and everything, but that one is graduating. So that's beautiful. And then this one is much heavier, says 925. And that's, that's really long. It's really, really long. I mean, put it on my head. Oh my God, I got claws. <laughs> Tanya, you, you didn't get to see, I found uh, teeth. <laughs> I found animal teeth and claws that he was going to make something out of. Yeah, these, I don't, I'm not familiar with seeing them graduating like that. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Because I, I don't, I'm, I'm not, I love those ball change. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the hair piece. Isn't this gorgeous? I mean, back in the 80s, right? We all used to wear these big bows and stuff. But that is absolutely stunning. <laughs> Holy smokes, Batman. Uh, so... Definitely this one is silver. Definitely. Um, I could test this right now. I do do. Well, it's going on like butter. I'm going to do the clasp as well. It's going on like butter. Um, so the finding is, is rubbing off with a little bit of color to it. So I don't think the finding part on this is sterling where it says korea on there oh you're not seeing what i'm doing sorry see how it's like a copper color so that that's from there but then this is from one of the beads let's see i'm gonna use the 18 carat to see what happens nope it just ate it away let me do this one. This one is the heavy one. Let's 
it's still there, but it's not, it's not lighting up like it usually does. Let's see. I mean, these are probably filthy too, but. Hmm. I think that's a good enough wrap. <laughs> hmm. Okay, there we go. I needed to uh, rub it a little bit harder. It's starting to light up in there. So these ones are definitely, yeah, th these are filthy. So. Yeah, once I rubbed a little bit harder, you can see it's glowing like that right there. So that's fine. I don't think these are. These are a lot lighter. I'm going to try it again, though. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so at all. So the heavy one is definitely, yeah, I don't think so. Definitely lighting up. All right. Let's clean that up. That stuff is stanky. All right. So the one that's marked Korea is not, it's not real. That's why it's so light. And then the one, this one, that is actually marked 925 is definitely sterling. All right, what I miss? Uh, <laughs> holy smokes, Batman. Uh, did, you did you get everything back in the trunk? Yes, I did. Um, did it all fit? Uh, yes. I think I, I kept one or two things out and I put with other stuff. Uh, you need Jason to come over. <laughs> You're supposed to give Jason my phone number. Did you give him my phone number yet? Cause, um, girl, you have my number. Yeah. You're supposed to give it. Can you text him my number? Um, there's just so much. Tanya, did you see the belt? Oh, you did. Okay. Tanya, did you see the belt? I don't know if Tanya... We, we got to show Tanya the belt. All right. I tested this. This is sterling. This whole thing is sterling. And I think a Chatelaine goes right there because there isn't one. There's no hook on this side. It's just absolutely amazing. Amazing. All right. So I took pictures of this belt. I have to send it. I, um, I'm going to be sending them to uh, Sunday Bobbles. She's going to help me investigate it more. And I'll let you guys know what's going on. I'll let you guys know. Love that belt. Uh, let's see. What did I miss? He can do an appraisal. Honey, he'll be here for weeks. I have three storage units filled with trunks full of stuff from Uncle. And I don't even know what's what. Like, I don't know. I'm still finding. Yeah, definitely a rich lady of the house would have that. Um, I'm still discovering jewelry. I'm still discovering. Like, I just found that belt, what, three weeks ago? 
Um, I mean, who just comes across this stuff? It's just mind boggling, mind boggling. I still love this. There's some other hair pieces. I want to, I want to show that. Tanya's got a pop up today. Hold on. Let's go down scope. Johnny got his channel back. Yes. He sent me an email. All right. So I'm going to investigate this a little more um, to see. I, I He might have made it. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to investigate it a little more. There's some stuff in here, though, that I think is hair stuff. Okay, so this is not real. Yeah, look, 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 look. Beautiful piece of sterling. So that would go around like the hair or the back of the head or whatever. I don't know how it's held in. That is, look at all the symbols. That is, um, what is it called? Coral. So it doesn't even have the holes on the end for this to like go through. So I'm not sure how you would fix them in your hair. So these look like sterling pieces that would go on like, not Native American, but maybe something from um, India or whatever. Uh, look at that. What is this? This is a pin and like a belt. Put like a piece of, um, like a ribbon or something through there. That's beautiful. Definitely sterling. But they convert it into a, um, a pin. So I think these are for hair. I'm not sure. I'm not, I don't know. What else were they before? Got any ideas? Yeah, he saw the belt. I don't think he had many um, much to say. He wanted me to let him know, you know, as I found stuff out. Is it two thirty? How long we've we been going? We've gone two and a half hours. So yeah, we'll we'll raid you afterwards, Tanya. We'll have to raid you. What's in here? Ooh. Okay, that's like a, I don't know what these are. Those smell like sterling. Oh, look at these beads. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Calm down, Mia. <laughs> these are definitely ethnic, sterling, can of teal, and type beads. Oh, my God. These are all... Connected. I see. Oh my God. Look at these caps. I don't know who that is, but they'll have to wait. Yeah, these are like caps for stones or whatever. And then look at all these. Uh, those beads. All right. There's a bunch of, these are heavy. That's got to be gold. Those, that's really heavy. Like for its size, that shouldn't be that heavy. I got to test it. I got to test it. <laughs> uh, okay. I thought these were all loose. Oh, all right. I'll look at those afterwards. Okay. They're not loose. They're on a piece of string. Okay. There's more than one string here. It's like a yellow piece of string. 
So, oh, there they are. These are bench beads here. These ones are bench beads. Oval ones, and then they put them together. It's all different ones on here. So he was collecting the beads. And then he strung them on here to keep them here. All different shapes and sizes. That's a gold one. Those are so cool. Yeah, I think I think some of these are gold. So I'm gonna test one just in case. I think these ones are gold because they're that one doesn't feel as heavy as the other one did. Oh, no, they've like brushed. I don't know. I'm not going to test them now. Let's finish going through what I have open. Let me try to throw all those in here so they don't... It's a forehead crown. <laughs> I'm going to try to put all those in this little bag so they don't go flying everywhere every time I take something out. There we go. Those are very heavy. I can't get over all these amazing beads. Uncle didn't play. <laughs> he did not play. These all look like things from India. All right. That one's not real. This one is. Trying to see if there's a line on these to see if these are bench beads. So yeah, look at that one. Hold on. Hold the phone. That has a seam down the middle. Yeah, I believe these are bench beads. Man. All right. Uh oh, there's one one more little bag. And it's loose stuff as well. Let me where's that little thing? And then we'll we'll go and raid. We'll go raid um Tanya's channel. Wow, look at these. What's that? That's a weird one. And there's two of them. Oh, those are pretty. Okay. It says Mexico. So this was a... This was a um, bracelet that probably fell apart. These are some big bench beads, huh? <gasps> Look at these. That one's even marked 925. Like discs. Look at that one. That's amazing. I don't know what you would do with it, but... Oh, this looks like those other beads that we found. Wait, wait, wait. Where are they? And we thought that maybe maybe they were Zuni. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Oh, 
Um, Got to keep like things together, right? Oh, there's just so overwhelming. There they are. Oh, they're not exactly the same, are they? Very similar. Same uh, color. Same colors. I should just keep them together anyway. That says Mexico. Oh, it's Malachite. That says Mexico on it too. Oh, that's corn. Look at little kernels of corn. Come on, clear up. There we go. Look at its corn. There's two of them. How cute are those? All right. Here's these jump rings or... Not sure. And I think I'm going to keep that with those. Wow, those pieces are crazy. Better. Big enough. I think we need a bigger boat. There we go. <sighs> This, I just, in my head, I just think about what he was making or what his, his head was thinking about making. I mean, these pieces are unbelievable. Yeah, I'm going to keep those with these. I think that they need to be together. And the corn. Who'd have thunk? Who says, I need that in my life? <laughs> Uncle does. Uncle says he needs it in his life. His taste was exquisite. This, this is intriguing. You know, um, it must have hung different things or had different strands or I don't know. All right. I think that's everything for today. <laughs> Whew, my goodness. What was your favorite? This this definitely this one here was definitely one of my favorites. And then and then the sterling I, I have to I have to keep a set of these. There, I did it. Um, the claws, this this chain was absolutely amazing. They make wheat earrings. Why not corn? That's right. That's right. Um, he his taste is just impeccable. I always say that Jason's like the younger version of my uncle. And, you know, all this stuff he accumulated. He was 92 when he passed. So my uncle accumulated all this stuff intending on, like, he has all these partially uh, made or grouped things of projects that he wanted to, to do. And he just didn't have a chance to. And in 92 years, I mean, he did a lot of stuff. He, he, he did a lot of stuff. And we did find some things that I can sell on Monday. I will be going through some more stuff, so I have more stuff to sell on Monday. But um, why don't we go and raid? Um, what time is it? She goes on in 15 minutes. Why don't we all go over and raid um, Tanya and see what she's got to sell today? Yeah. Let's see. 
piece of water. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Need a sip of tea. <clears throat> Uncle's taste was amazing. I can't wait to find some out some more about this if he did make it or if this is something indigenous. But he did, I remember him telling me that he was working with um, the Native American tribe that he was um, accepted into here in Massachusetts. He used to go to powwows and everything. So, and there are pictures, I have to find them. There are pictures of him sitting, doing beading like this with um, the Native American elders of that tribe that he was accepted into. So yeah, he, uncle was a, he was full-blooded Sicilian, but a tribe can take you into their tribe if they, if they feel fit, you know, that, that, if that's what they want to do. Becky, love you. Thanks so much for coming in and I will keep you guys updated. I will, I'm going to try to go live again and do some more unboxing between now and Monday. Hi, be crazy. What's going on? Thank you so much for coming in. Uh, you guys could have been anywhere, but you were here with me and each other. And I appreciate you so much. Um, be kind to one another. Be kind to yourself. I have to remind myself to be kind to myself as well. <laughs> we all get on ourselves, right? We're all our worst critics. I'm in need of more jewel, uh, jewel boxes if you have any available. Thank you for sharing with us. Um, I have to get some empty before I can sell some more. They're not, they're not all empty. But um, it's on the list. <laughs> Gypsy JJ, it's on the lips. On the lips? You know I'm tired when I start talking weird. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. I love you. And uh, go see Tanya. Go raid Tanya. Tell her I sent you. Bye. <laughs>